This is part two. I have loaded my city back up without any of the solution number one fixes. The space elevator is still here, along with the traffic congestion in this neighborhood. Here is my traffic flow, just like in part one. 73%. No despawning. In part one, I found out that the traffic is not really caused by the space elevator. The traffic was caused by the road system in this area. I will now redo the same solution number one fixes to show that the fixes work even with the space elevator present. As I mentioned before, this solution is for demonstration and instructional purposes. The best solution for my city is to build a metro or subway system. Let's expand the roads. These are medium four lane roads and I'm going to expand them to the six lane. And I'll just go ahead and hit play. Let's set up dedicated directions. Here we go. There we go. These cars are spawning because of the train station. I think these cars are spawning because of the space elevator. Continue with the lane arrows. There we go. And let's do some more expansion right here. There you go. Let's do that. Okay, let's take a look. Where are we at? 79. There's still this... These guys right here. Dedicated directions again. So we'll try one more experiment. And then let's let it run and see if that makes any kind of uh, difference. We're at 79. I'll make it go fast. Just once that buildup got addressed then it's it's fine we'll, we'll just let it run a little bit more the lane arrows look like it didn't have as big of an impact here there is an issue right here boom it confused the cars here and it despawned those cars. Okay, there you go. So it's at 79. You can see that these cars constantly are spawning, but they do move. There is no backlog, which is very good.
We'll come back to that area. There you go, that's good. That's good. So it is consistently at 80 using those same fixes that I did before. And the space elevator is still working, right? It's on, it's got 301 tourists, and there you go. So there's just a flood of people that spawn with the space elevator. Other than that, it clears up. So uh, the issue was just the letting all of those people spawn and get out. Now that they are clear, it's good to go. Just took a little bit of time. Dedicated directions, expanding from four to six. Again, no despawning. Let's speed it up. Yep. Here they are spawning now from the space elevator. You don't see much of a backlog. It seems to be moving just fine. And this is moving pretty, pretty good. Let's take a quick look around. We're at 80. Not that there should be any issues from the space elevator anywhere else. Eighty, eighty, eighty. I do not see any gridlock, do not see any backlog. And then this place just get, does get busy right here. Let's go ahead. Oh, it hit 81 actually. So we're good, but you do see the backlog here. Let's go ahead and do the paths. Go to landscaping and disasters. Go to paths. Pick the path that you want. I like to use these. Pick where you want to place it. Page up to increase elevation. Page down to decrease. Home key to go to zero or level elevation. Oh, can you go right here? That works. So this is an elevated pedestrian path. There you go. Uh, if you don't have those keys, go to options here and check your key bindings. So are people using the elevated paths? Yeah, they are. But there's still a lot of people taking the ground crosswalks. You can see the ground people still taking the ground crosswalks here. So if you have traffic manager, let's uh, go to regular. Ooh, go to regular speed. Go to traffic manager. 
and use these intersection signs. Traffic Manager calls them junction restrictions, but they're basically intersection instructions. Click on that, click on the intersection, and then click on the blue icon and turn it off so that it has a red line through it. That means the pedestrians can't use the ground crosswalks. And then now, do you see anybody using the ground crosswalks? Nope. Nope. So they're all going to use the elevated crosswalks now. Space elevator is right here. It's on. 328. You can see everybody coming out of it. They're walking down, walking over here. And they're going to spawn a boatload of cars right here. Traffic is still at 80. Let's speed it up. And so, uh, also what's happening is uh, the people that were spawning right here, they are now all spawning here in this one spot because of the elevated path. So I actually want them to come back over here and spawn here. Otherwise, it's going to too much, uh, put too much of a strain right here where the train station and the space elevator, everybody is spawning right here. Traffic is still at 80, but let's polish this up. So we're going to do pause. And basically, I need to, I need to make this kind of go the other way. I could not think of uh, any way to do this besides moving this, this passenger train terminal over a little bit. So I'm going to do that now. I want to move it over. Right there. And let's see if... If I can get this to fit properly. Bingo. Good. Perfect. So now some of the people coming from this passenger train terminal, hopefully they won't spawn here. They'll come up, come over here, and spawn here. We'll see. This is a little bit of an experiment. Play. Where's our traffic? We're still at 80. You see everybody wanting to take a left. Everybody's taking a left. Hey, I've got an idea. How about that? That should make more of them use the middle lane to turn left. Or it can. Not should, but it can. I'm looking to see our people, our cars spawning here when the bus comes in. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Jeez. Maybe it would help if I connected this up. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, now, now let's see if the experiment works. Eighty-one. Well, we'll let it run since I kind of messed that up right here with this connection. Okay, yeah, people are coming. Where are these dudes going to spawn? Where are they going to spawn their vehicles? Uh, I see a lot of cars spawning here, but I can't tell. Ah, right here. So more cars are spawning here like before, but not as much. There's still a boatload spawning here. Can't tell if it's from the space elevator or not. Because there are definitely people coming here from the space elevator. You can see that. They're coming out here. They're coming over here. Coming down. Boom. We can follow one of them. Pause. Steven, where are you going, man? Okay, well, that didn't really help the example. Where are you going? 
Surely? Everybody's going left! What about these guys? That person's going to the space elevator, leaving the city. Let's go slow. There's all these people crossing. Did I just not pick a single one? Oh my god. Okay, one person, Charles, I picked properly. You can see a lot of people are... They take a right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, there's a few people. And they come over here, and they're going to spawn their car right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I was right. These cars are, are spawning from the space elevator. Um, but the idea is to fix a city, you want to use the diffuse and disperse strategy. And so without this little elevated pedestrian path right here, for people coming out of the pa passenger train station. They weren't spawning here, they were instead spawning here. So there was way too much spawning of cars right here and that has an impact on the traffic. And so by moving that over just three squares, now more of them spawn here. And so we have diffused the traffic from all being spawned right here to some being spawned here, just like they were before I created the elevated paths. Let's take a look at the traffic. Yeah, so there's nothing behind it. Yeah, it's at 81. Let's let it run a few. A little bit. See what happens. Um, they don't really use that middle lane, do they? Not at all. Not at all. That's a better disbursement right there. It's just non-stop. Okay. That's not too bad. 81. Let's take a look. No cascade events that have affected other parts of the city. There shouldn't be. That red was very discreet in that just that area over there no it's flowing good that's a cue There you go. Yep. There you go. Solved. No despawning. Please like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. And if you want to support me more, smash that subscribe button. If you want more tips, there is a playlist which includes a metro subway guide, a beginner's guide, traffic manager settings, and other tutorials and tips. Also in that playlist are a boatload of submitted city fixes where I fix other people's cities and their traffic. If you want me to fix your city, you can uh, let me know on Discord or put it in the comments below. As always, Stream Vibes playing in the background. You can check it out on most music platforms all over the world, and you can also use it on your own streams and videos. You will not get a copyright strike because I own the copyright. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Don't build a Hadron Collider. Bye-bye.